offer saved a little money today, but it isn't going to save any of us any money or any heartache starting December 1, right? But for adult day health care, I would not be able to keep my mom at home and work. I still work every day. Adult day health care keeps people out of the hospital, it keeps people out of nursing homes. It allows seniors and people with severe disabilities to live at home with their families in the community in a dignified way that ultimately saves the state a lot of money. We have a family where the uh, son is the main caregiver as much as he adores his mom. She is very difficult. She hits. She's aggressive. She's wandered out when he's been in the shower. Uh, luckily she was wearing our name tag. They called us. He didn't even know she was gone. So she really needs close supervision and there's been mornings where he's dropped her off. He's just a wreck. He's been hit the whole time. He's been shouted at and he's very much wanting to keep her home. That's his commitment to her and it makes him able to still work, which he needs to do. He's still 50, in his 50s, he's got to work. In the state of California, we have over 7,000 wonderful human beings who are working in adult day health care. Those individuals will become unemployed and will be eligible for unemployment benefits because they are being laid off. Do the math. I absolutely love ADHC services. Many of the chronic conditions that my patients struggle with require daily care and attention. Diabetes, hypertension, depression. I can do only so much in a 15 minute office visit, but when my frail elderly patients are in ADHCs, I know that there are many professionals helping with their care. They have been caregivers for people that they love. Many of them have made the decision that placement is not an option. They're caring for their loved one in their home where they can feel safe, where they can have dignity and they can be around their family is the only option. The elimination of adult day health care is digging a deeper budget hole than it would cost to keep funding it, and the human costs are, are staggeringly tragic.